This is part one of a series of video tutorials on setting up a website in Dreamweaver. Okay, now let's start by defining the site in the files area, the files window. If you can't see the files window, click on window and make sure that files is selected. Okay, now I'm going to click on the drop down and choose manage sites. Now click on new and where it says local site folder on the right hand side click the browse for folder icon All right, that'll probably bring you to your documents folder within which I've already put a websites folder and created a folder for the help video guru dot com website All right. I'm going to double click on that folder and select to select it I'm going to select the name of that folder and just paste it up here into site name I can add the dot com Actually, I'll want that later, so we'll c copy that. Now, I'm not going to bother setting up servers or version controls once now, at right now. But under advanced settings, I am going to disable cloaking so that I'll be able to see all files associated with the site and turn off design notes because I don't use them. I'm going to click on save and click done. Now, the site we've defined is automatically selected in the files. You, if there were other sites to jump to, we could do so by choosing them from the drop-down. Right. But uh, you'll see also that there are no actual files associated with the site as of yet. Let's create our first one, which is the core template for the website. We're going to click on File, New. We want a uh, blank template. It'll be HTML in our case and we're going to click on create. Now we have our blank edit area that appears. First thing you should do save the file. Okay, File, save. It's going to warn you that it doesn't have any editable regions. That's fine. We'll put that in later. Click OK and we're going to save it as site core. Okay. Now when we click on save you'll see that in the files window a new folder called templates is created and if we expand that you'll see the site core dot dwt file dwt stands for dreamweaver template okay that's now the file we're editing click ba back in the uh, edit window the design window and we're going to insert a uh, table to hold our header okay now um, 960 pixels wide for table width it's a good size when you're building a website it fits most screens okay in this case we just want one row and one column and make sure that border thickness cell padding and cell spacing all have actual zeros in them blank isn't good enough okay blank means default and that might mean 10 or 15 pixels or 5 pixels whatever depending on what browser uh, keep control over your tables put the zeros in if that's what you want and click OK now I like uh, layout to be centered, so keeping without clicking anywhere else, keep that table selected. If it isn't, click within it and click table on the uh, breadcrumb down here. But uh, having it selected where it says align, choose center, and you'll see that it centers on the page. Now click to the right hand side of it, all right, and we're going to insert now a, another table for. Uh, the main body of our pages. Now this we want three columns. One row is fine. 960 still, everything else zeroed out. We're going to click OK. Once again, first thing do we do, center it, if that's your goal. All right. Now that gives us our three columns. Um, what I intend here is to have the left-hand column to be navigation. So I'm going to click within that left cell and in W under properties for width, 140 for 140 pixels. The cell next to it, I want to be 10 pixels. Okay. Now that's going to leave us with um, 960 minus 150 uh, pixels, which is 810 for the third column. We'll put that in, and you'll see that the values are represented there. Okay. Now. Um, 
I want a uh, footer layout table um, which is going to be the same as the header one so if I click on the header within the header table and then I choose table the first table from the right hand side along the breadcrumb there uh, we've got it selected so now I can say control C for copy click once again to the right of the second table control V for paste and we have our footer okay um, for our navigation we want a navigation table for layout there insert table this one is going to be 140 pixels wide let's give it 12 rows just one column the rest of them zeroed out click OK now standard um, pages home videos well standard for this particular site anyway links privacy policy and contact me all right now um, let's click within our header table and put the site name up there for a quick uh, logo here help video guru okay and let's give that in properties under format a uh, heading one attribute all right now we're going to want to style this page you know do a CSS style sheet so that we can start controlling the look and feel of things so let's do that format CSS styles new okay under rule definition at the bottom choose new style sheet file okay uh, choose selector type we want to be tag at the moment and I want to deal with the body tag put that under selector name and click OK now the first thing it wants to do is uh, ask you for a file name for your CSS style sheet which is CSS styles is a nice obvious name and we'll click Save now this is uh, us defining the body tag alright I like Arial as the font for most websites and uh, let's give it a quick background color we'll uh, go here go to the system color picker all right say choose it within the greens and give it uh, a really light green pull, pull this uh, luminosity here almost to the top I click OK I click OK and you'll see now the aerial font represented and the light green background all right um, if you click on your CSS styles window tab make sure that's expanded uh, you can you can double click on the line where the files tab is to minimize that okay gives you more view of your CSS styles um, I like to make sure that all is selected instead of current under CSS styles so I can see all my styles and manage them uh, more easily and what we're doing here is we're going to create a header style so uh, down at the bottom a little blank page icon with the plus to the left it says new CSS rule we're gonna click on that and choose header okay now this is a placeholder style I'm creating here for the moment so we're just gonna click OK without giving it any properties what I want to do is make sure I'm in that header cell we're gonna choose the, t the first TD from the right in the breadcrumb and in properties choose header as the class that whole cell now is a classed as a header okay now click within your uh, h1 title okay and once again new CSS rule it should say compound under selector type if it doesn't select that you should see header you know dot header h1 that's what we want to define we're going to click OK for that um, we can adjust the font size here let's just specifically make it 36 for example goes a bit bigger there uh, if we click apply we can see the changes right away okay um, let's give that cell a, a bit of a different background 
or not the cell actually the the H1 um, click here click on the I, I'm going to click on the background color click once more go to our system color picker and I just want to pull this down a bit to make that a bit darker okay click OK click apply oh that's too dark a little bit higher just want to emphasize it a bit there we go okay now uh, let's go to border uncheck same for alls and I just want it at the top and bottom so we'll do a solid uh, let's give this one a value four pixels and let's just choose a dark green for that bottom do the same thing of course you can put your own values here click here to grab that same color click apply and we see now we have the border there now um, what we also want to do uh, in this case eh, a little bit of left padding here so we'll go to box uncheck same for all on padding let's maybe put five pixels just to push that away from the the edge and give it yeah give it some breathing room okay now we'll click OK and we'll see uh, well home is too tight to the top so let's go to our header style and to the right of the the new this edit rule we'll choose that let's go to box padding and at the bottom let's put eight and apply see that uh, just pushes down now that's for the uh, the header not the header h1 that we're putting that padding on okay and uh, you can adjust that to any any height that you see fit let's try 10 uh, I like the 8 better okay now uh, the actual page core content is going to go in this area here the third column in the middle section but we don't want it centered here you see the cursor is centered so click in this area and pull to the left so that all three cells for the center region are selected and invert for vertical and properties choose top okay and then you'll see that the cursor moves to the top and that'll keep this navigation table to the top as well okay we're going to insert our um, template object editable region we're going to call it page core I'm going to click OK. Now down here under footer, horizontal alignment, I'm going to put center, say insert, HTML, special characters, copyright, I'm going to put a space, by help video guru.com. Okay. And there we have a basic, uh, let's turn off all the visual aids a basic core for a site that's all the time I have for with this video join me for the second video and we'll go through a bit more